Hey, I'm Steve Okers. I'm Danielle Miller. I'm Tim Miller. And we're the talking heads of Steve Okers Group today on this Monday, because we're the only ones left in the office this afternoon, yep. even though everyone is here this morning. Oh, then Rachel, peace in the Disney. I hope you're surviving, because yes. I don't know yes. if I'm ever taking my kids back. <laughs> it's not happy. It's, it's not a happiest place. <laughs> it's not. Fun. Good. Uh, so we're getting signs put on our windows so and stuff. Exciting. So if you see the sign guys... That's where they're doing. We're uh, tagging our doors, and mm-hmm. so you know how to visit us at the first street when you come mm-hmm. down, right? Yep. So we thought we would talk market because that's what generally people ask us, our elevator pitch, if you will, yep. right? So mm-hmm. uh, we have a couple different topics. One is inventory, and then second is new construction, mm-hmm. right? Yes. Yep. Uh, so what are your thoughts? Start with new construction. Why don't you guys tell us, tell me your thoughts on new construction what you're seeing and that kind sure. of thing first. Yeah, so Danielle and I actually just recently got a new construction house under contract for ourselves. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> um, we had spent some time looking at the used market, weren't really finding what we needed in the price point where we wanted, and we ended up getting a new one for the price point we wanted. Yeah. A um, little over what we originally wanted, but furnace is new, roof's new, windows are new, essentially. Don't we won't have, have to do anything. Don't have to worry about it for the next time or whatever, ready, right? right? Which is interesting. I, I love that you guys are using the speech of new construction where it's like new or used, right? Yeah. Like we mm-hmm. think of cars as new and used, <laughs> but builders are starting to use that terminology, right? Of like, do you want to buy a used car or do you want to buy right. something that's sort of off the lot that, you know, you've got the 10-year warranty or whatever. So mm-hmm. we're seeing that a lot. I think I have four, maybe five pending uh, in that M6 corridor, I call it the, the Byron Center, Hudsonville, Caledonia corridor. When you look there, which I did last week, um, in the 250 to 350 price range, it pulled up, I think about 20 listings. Yep. And out of that 20, I think 15 were either Sable or Allen Edwin. Yep. Right. And yep. so, uh, the new home builders obviously saw the market a while ago and they're putting inventory on right when we don't have any yep. in the corridors that a lot of move-up buyers are looking for in the price range that they want. So, yeah. Yeah, we're seeing that. And then today, uh, I was a little grumpy because I got buyers <laughs> that I want to sell stuff to, and I'm a sales sure. guy. And so when it coop me up for too long, I get a little grumpy, right? Antsy. Yeah, I get a little antsy. <laughs> so we just did some fun research just now. And so question for you, and I'll ask these, but they already know it, so I guess it's not really a question anymore. But uh, the first time home buyer market, right? The, which is new now in a different price point. So it's weird for me to say first time home buyers are 150 to 200, but they really are, right? Yep. Yeah. Um, some, yep. Sometimes more than that even now mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. some of the uh, different neighborhoods. But um, how many listings did we say there are available right 15. now? 15. 15 listings in the city of Grand Rapids. So we looked up school district of Grand Rapids. 150 to 200 single family. There are a total of 15 uh, homes that we could show you right now. But out of the 15, only three of which are on the market for less than a week. So all the others have been on the market for over 30 days, which kind of says like there's an issue with it. It's either price or condition or location. There's an issue with one of those three. Mm -hmm. So really there'd only be three houses today. If you call me saying, I want to buy something between 150 and 200. Yeah. That's insane. That's crazy. Crazy. That's just nuts. Right. So, uh, we're going to, I mean, agents are talking about door knocking, right? We're both headed out this weekend. (laughs) We're going to try to find inventory wherever it might be, but if you have a first time home buyer house right in those price points really under 250 yep. please reach out to us now um we are actively seeking those opportunities for our clients and trying to make the best opportunity for you mm-hmm. to give yep. you freedom to move to the next thing right like, yeah um is there and, any ways that you've helped like sellers move forward with yeah with buying the next house i was or? gonna even say we were kind of talking this morning we have a lot of clients who are in leases who've started early and have three to six months yeah. to play with mm-hmm. where they're saying mm-hmm. we're willing to give sellers time in the house yeah. just if we could lock something up to kind of know where we're going in the next three to six months. Yeah. So if you're a seller who's kind of worried of, oh, we don't know where we're going to move or we're maybe building right. but want somewhere to stay for the next six months, I don't think that 
this should be a deal breaker to start the yeah. listing process right yeah, now. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You know what also is tough when you have a bunch of ADD real estate agents in the side <laughs> county. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so I'm Steve Bokers. I'm Danielle Miller. I'm Tim Miller. And we're Talking Heads ADD on this yeah. Monday with the sign guys. Yes. Thanks for watching. We love you. Out. Bye. Bye. <laughs>